Okay, now we're back at the GMDC section, selecting this option under Resource List. And I need you to right click on this and select the Replace option. And I need to go to my Working folder. And we're going to replace it with the SIMPE version of this. The XML isn't required to import, and I'll explain that in a future tutorial. It's not something you really have to worry about right now. In fact, it could be just deleted. But we want to select that and click Open. And resources have changed, so we want to save them. So we select Yes. And notice the italicize, which means we need to save our work. If we had not copied and named our file this, it, when it imported, it would have named it whatever the file name was. You don't ever want to change the file name section of this GMDC. And if you, if you did happen to have a different name before you imported it, you'd want to select all this and copy it. And then once it was imported, replace that. If you happen to forget to do that, you can always go to the GMND section, copy that name, and then go over here and you could paste that back in here, but be sure to change the last two letters to DC. So I have my volume a little loud. Okay. Now I'll have to resave that. And you could click Preview here to preview your item. I haven't imported the new texture into this, so it's still going to have the blue. But there's our new shape base. And let's go and import the new texture. Now you can do import your textures in one of two ways. If you've installed the DTX option, you can click Build DTX and open the file and I would open it by going to my work folder and selecting this. And I don't usually allow it to do anything. Sometimes this program kind of messes up your textures. But you'd click build. You would want to use this more for when you have a different sized image as opposed to the largest one in here. And the other option would be to just Click the import button over here, select this texture, open it. But with this you had, would have to use update all sizes and commit the changes. Okay, I think that explains all the different options of importing. It is a DXT1 format, which is a solid texture. The DX3 format would be if it had a texture that you wanted parts of it to be invisible. And I guess that's all I think I'll explain for this lesson. At any rate, we have to commit it, save the file. We can go back and preview it to make sure a texture came out okay over here. And there we have our purple vase. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot from it. You could also go into ga your game and check to make sure it came out all right. And if you have any questions, please be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.